Hi everyone, I'm Mina Chang with Linking the World here in Kabul, Afghanistan. I've recorded these Q&As over the years in many of the countries we operate in. I've signed in from places like Nigeria, Somalia, Kenya, Myanmar, even Vanuatu, and they've been incredibly interactive. So we decided to take some questions on social media about our work here in Afghanistan. The questions that we received made me realize that Afghanistan is clearly a country that we all care about and that we understand the important role that the future of this country has for all of us. I also want to assure you that we've taken every measure of caution and we're working with highly capable and experienced partners here to ensure our safety. We have a healthy amount of respect for the situation that we're entering, but we also know that this is the nature of our work. Um, there's always a calculated level of risk that we accept in order to accomplish our goals. We're all aware that Afghanistan is a very dangerous country, especially for Westerners. There are still combatant deaths as the Taliban work to reestablish control, and there have been multiple suicide bombs and attacks, attacks that have resulted in civilian deaths, many of them children. Just this week when we arrived, a prison was attacked by insurgents and over 350 militant operatives were freed, which included a number of Taliban commanders. Um, up north, five World Food Program trucks were ambushed and burned. And just today, we were notified that aid workers are being targeted, specifically. As a matter of fact, Afghanistan is the most dangerous country to operate in as a humanitarian aid worker, with the most kidnappings and aid worker deaths than in any other country. It's incredibly dangerous to be a woman here in general. It's, it's said that it's more dangerous to be born a woman here than to be a man in combat. I've already met so many people, so many incredible people, and the stories that I've heard here, um, there's incredible suffering here. The stories are so gut-wrenching and heartbreaking that they're even bringing our translators to tears. The ones that suffer the most seem to be the innocent. They're here, caught in the middle of a war that they never asked for. And there's no escape, no choice but to suffer and survive. Which is why I believe that the women here need help more than ever. So much has been accomplished. And so much has been sacrificed. Sacrificed by the international community, but also by the Afghans. We cannot just stand by after we've accomplished so much and just leave. As international troops begin to transition out of its on-the-ground presence, security and stability of local women's rights initiatives will be more important than ever in ensuring that Afghan women and girls maintain the strides that, that have been made since the weakening of the Taliban. The best support that the international community can give to help Afghanistan help itself is to provide Afghan women the support for women's empowerment and human rights initiatives, which is why we're here. Um, throughout this week, I'm looking forward to sharing with you some of their stories. Their stories of resilience, hope, success, and love. So I'm looking forward to more questions and uh, sharing and learning with you. Thank you.